All right, guys, today we're checking out a microphone, the SL40 from F Deuce, a podcast microphone, 100 bucks on Amazon. And right now there is a 15% off coupon. So you can bring this down to around $89. Now, I did purchase this with my own money about two weeks ago, and I've been using it since then. And when I bought it, there was 30 bucks off. I picked this mic up for 70 bucks. So at the end of the video, I'll give you my final opinion on whether or not I think this. Mike is worth it at MSRP at the $100 price point. We will do some mic comparisons against some other microphones I do have here. But let's jump in. We'll take a look at the packaging, what we get for our money. We'll go over the specs, and then we'll go into some audio samples. But, of course, you are listening to the SL40 right now, plugged directly into the Rodecaster Pro 2 with no processing going on at the moment, and there will be no processing, no post-processing on when I edit this video. So straight out of the box, this is what it's gonna sound like XLR, and this is what it's going to sound like if you plug this into your computer with a USB-C. So either way, let me know what you think. Drop some comments on the sound, and if you hear any difference between USB-C or plugging this into a mixer, like the Rodecaster Pro 2. Let me know, drop some comments below. Now, the packaging here, the SL40 podcast microphone from F Deuce. Very clean, very nice packaging. Now, inside of the box, we do get an XLR cable. So right there off the bat, we're getting some value there, right? They are including an XLR cable inside of the box. Now, the XLR cable and the USB-C cable are both about six feet in length. But we also get a little adapter here. So this is a USB-A to USB-C adapter if you need to go USB-C to USB-C to plug into your computer or whatever you are going to use. I am going USB-C to USB-A into my iMac at the moment. And that is what you are hearing right now. But now on the top of this microphone, we do have three buttons. So the middle button you can see is lit up with a blue light. That is our mute button. And it also functions as kind of a multifunction button. And I'll show you what that does in a minute. To the right of that, we do have a little microphone symbol with a light underneath it because we can control the volume from the plus and minus buttons from the microphone, which is really good. Now on the left side, you see the little headphone symbol because we can also control our headphones. So latency free monitoring from our microphone which you would plug your headphones directly into the back so again the minus will raise and lower your volume for either your microphone or your headphones and the plus of course will raise it now if we just tap once on the middle button you can see it does turn red and this does mute your microphone and if we go back it will unmute the microphone. Now, if we just hold down this button, you can see this light here, this will move over to the headphone if I touch and hold. So the light has now moved over to the headphone, and now I am able to control the, well, the volume from the microphone directly, which I think is a great thing to have. Now, on the back of the mic, you are going to plug this in directly with your XLR. There is also your USB-C input, and then you have the 3.5 to connect your headphones so you can monitor your audio. Now, they did also include this foam windscreen, and you can see here, we'll take this off. Now, I do like, and it doesn't matter what mic I'm using, I think using, I buy a bunch of extra SM7B pop filters for that microphone, so I always go and I exchange the one that comes, and this is exactly what I did with the MV7, and now we're doing it again with this. This from the SM7B does fit on this microphone. You can see the capsule here, and this capsule is very similar to what is on the MV7. Now, build quality on this microphone, and let me know if you hear a difference using this windscreen compared to the stock windscreen that does come on, and I just feel like the SM7B does a better job It'll do a better job with plosives. It will do a better job all around. It does have a little more space in here to give me, I think, a little better sound. And it doesn't matter what mic I'm using. As long as this fits on it, I'm going to use it. Plus, I like the look of this better compared to the little nub here. But let me know. That's just me. Let me know what you guys think. Now, the build quality on this microphone is fantastic. The yoke is really good, in my opinion. And overall, it's a metal microphone, right? So a good quality built microphone with some really good accessories inside of the box. So we're getting an XLR cable, we're getting the six foot USB-C to USB-A, along with the USB-A adapter here. 
Now, one other thing we do get in the box is a 5 8 to 3 8 inch mic stand adapter. So you don't see that a lot, especially at something that costs as cheap as this microphone does. So we do get a lot for our money. Now we're going to bring in two other microphones, as you can see here. So right here, I do have the Samsung Q9U. I love the look of this microphone, the build quality. When I bought this microphone, I paid around, I think, $150 for it. I believe now it's down to around $120. This is also a USB and XLR microphone, and I think it looks amazing. That's why I bought it, mainly because of the look. I know I shouldn't buy mics because of the look, but I just did. I needed it. I wanted it, so I got it. The pod mic, 100 bucks. Still a fantastic microphone. And all three, again, no processing is turned on. So we're going to do a couple comparisons here. And then I'm going to turn on processing so you can hear what the processing does sound like on the F-Deuce as well as the other two. Now, I also do have the Rode VideoMic Pro right out of frame here. So we'll include that in our sample comparison here just because that is what I use right now for my backup audio so we'll throw it in and that is actually more expensive than all of these that is around 200 to 250 so shotgun mic going up against these three mics but we're here specifically for the f do so now we're hearing the audio quality from the rode pod mic this is one of the first microphones that i did buy when i started live streaming and doing things like that let me know there is a slight difference i believe we do get more bass more boom in the f deuce compared to the pod mic and i'm going to try and speak into it a little closer just like we have here on the f deuce now the samsung q9u let me move this a little closer as well let me know what you guys think so right off the bat this mic sounds very different in my ears and my headphones but let me know what you guys like the best it does make a difference which you prefer so preference will come into play here when it comes to audio quality. What do you like better? A little less bass on these two mics, a little more bass on this microphone here compared to the pod mic again. So I do really like this microphone. Look, I'm, we're, we're going to cut to what I'm going to say at the end right now. I think this is a great deal. I think this is a great mic. And they didn't send this to me. I bought this with my own money. I think if you're on a budget and you want to start a podcast or if you want to start just having good, clean audio and, and you're making YouTube videos, whatever it is, Twitch, if you're a gamer, this is a good starter microphone that could last a very long time. And again, you are hearing this right now plugged into a mixer, the Rodecaster Pro 2, but you don't need all that because USB-C is an option and they give you everything you need to start. USB-A to USB-C, we do get to the adapter we do get the adapter, the mic adapter attachment. We do get an XLR cable. We do get the USB. So everything is provided. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn on processing for all of these. We're going to turn on noise gate. We're going to turn on a de -esser. We're going to put the gain up to around, I think they have the gain set for these mics right around 48, 49. And it will be the same on all three microphones. Let's try that out. All right, now this is the sound quality with processing on all going into the Rodecaster Pro 2. So the gain is set to plus 50 on all these. So a little high, I think, a little higher than I would normally do for regular audio, but I just wanted to give it a little boost. And you can hear how good this microphone sounds. So a big difference with processing on. And that is the same for the pod mic. So the pod mic, definitely a little different than what it sounded like before. A little more bass now, because I do have Big Bottom turned on also in post-processing to help give me a little more low end on this microphone because my voice naturally has low end, so I just like to keep it there. I don't want it to sound a little higher than I'm normally used to, and that's just my preference. You guys might not even like it, and that's okay. It's just preference. And then the Samsung Q9U. For You know, it's funny. I like the look of this microphone the best, but drop some comments below. I think this is the worst-sounding microphone out of all three, and that is just my opinion. Again, I like a little more bassier sound, and that is what this lacks compared to the other two mics. I don't think this mic sounds bad, but I think as far as what I like, like personally, I like something more along the lines of this and this sound. So look, this microphone here, it is literally, well, when I bought it, 70 bucks, so 100 bucks MSRP, we'll get this guy out of here. 
And right now, down to 90 bucks. So the F-Deuce, the build quality on here, I think is really good. It's a metal microphone, guys, metal. The yoke on here is very solid, all made of metal. We get the adapter, the XLR cable, which I've never seen included in a box before, not with the SM7B, which was a very expensive microphone. I've had the Rode Procaster, very expensive microphone, right? Still around 200 bucks for that microphone. The pod mic doesn't come with it. We get everything we need. The f SL40. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you hear a difference with this mic between XLR, which is what you are hearing now, and with USB-C. This is plugged directly into my iMac right now being recorded with QuickTime, and there is no post-processing done at all. This is out of the box, what it's going to sound like. Let me know. Drop some comments. Let me know what you think of this microphone. I'm a big fan of it, guys. The Avduce SL40, guys. Drop some comments. Hit that like button. Give me a sub, and I'll be back soon. Peace.